Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So I'm going to be going to Lowe's. I'm hoping to find a couple things so I can work on the trellis and as well um, just to see what the store might have. Um, and uh, I'm excited. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out to go. I just got out of church and so now I'm going to head to the store and I'm hoping they have some bulbs you guys um, because normally around this time they have them on sale <laughs> so I'll, I'm hoping that I find some bulbs on sale so that I could do a couple of pot arrangements for the spring because they do they still will come up um, so I'm hoping that I find those at our local Lowe's and as well um, I need uh, a couple more things for the trellis for my grapevines. Uh, I need to strengthen my vines plus some materials for the chicken coop. So I'm just going to be at Lowe's shopping around just to kind of see if I can find some of the things that I, I'm needing around the house um, for our, our what I will call our little miniature suburban homestead. And uh, I'm excited. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out so let's go ahead you guys I will tune you back in as soon as I get to the store and go shopping so I'm taking you guys with me shopping so I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us shopping I do have my little mama back here and uh, we're going shopping so don't forget you guys to go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video and I will um, and when I get to the store I'll tune you guys right back in okay so we are here at Lowe's and let's show you guys I am definitely definitely you guys at Lowe's and we are about to go inside and go and shop right yeah. so we're gonna go shop <laughs> Okay, so first things first, I done hit the rack, you guys, and here is some bulbs. But I had to go ahead and do a voiceover, you guys, because the music, the holiday music is blaring, and you guys, the store is packed. Everybody is shopping for the holidays and looking for the perfect gifts for their loved ones. But you guys, they have bulbs on sale now they aren't as low as i would like them to be because at this time of season i like to see that 90 maybe even just 75 percent off but right now they're 50 percent off and here is the other bulb rack here so it says falls and edibles so they have another um size of this rack i'll be showing you guys later on in this video but here is some beautiful daffodils i have so many daffodils around the sand pit i have the double headed um uh, daffodils and the single headed daffodils last year i planted these crocus bulbs right here you guys they came up and after that they rotted in the ground which was the great thing was i found it on sale so when stuff doesn't work out for me i'm just like i'm glad i went ahead and tried it and it didn't come back but that is all right i found it at a great deal now i planted some alliums like this before but i planted the pink ones i never planted these ones right here they're so pretty the blue color ones are just gorgeous now these alliums almost remind me of all of the other alliums because the onion ones are actually white and uh so you can find so many different beautiful 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 guys alliums out here so if you just wanted to plant some onion ones they just be white and um they just as gorgeous okay but i'm really digging this blue ones so down here they have some more crocus bulbs and um i actually was thinking about this because they had 15 for the only four dollars and 98 cent which is only going to be like two dollars and 50 cents i thought it was a great deal you get 15 of them but you guys i just i'm trying to make sure that i'm staying in the path of what I said I came into the store for and I was looking for a little bit lower in the price cost and deal wise as bulbs because a lot of times my bulbs do not come back when I plant them into pots um, now I planted a great deal of the daffodils around and tulips a colorful multiple packs of tulips around the sand pit and they come back every year 
but the ones that I plant in the pot has a tendency to die uh, just principally just rot now these tulips right here is called bride and honeys I have a moon garden in the front and I really was thinking yeah get these but guess what there was only one pack and it only had six and I would like to have at least four packs of this and I would have definitely have bought these I think they would have just been gorgeous on my front porch makeover okay these are some gorgeous tulips so right here is another pack of tulips this is the oxford elite and i just think these were absolutely so 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 pretty but i was like i already have colorful um tulips in the backyard so i really just came here to see if i can find some beautiful white tulips for just that decoration element that i wanted for my front porch and up front i do have you guys uh, some white flowered crepe myrtles and then i have the white kennedy rolls and then i have the white petunias so i kind of just wanted to kind of keep everything kind of clean and, and white and if you didn't know about a moon garden see like these ones right here i was really thinking about getting these ones i so i might just come back um they did have a great deal of them you get 15 bulbs okay so there'll be five bucks but i would kind of you guys I kind of just guys want a little bit of lower price i know call me cheap whatever but i kind of just wanted just a tad bit cheaper so that just in case they didn't work out for me in those pots that i will still continue on like i said to have um that beautiful show for that short period of time and i'm a stay at home mom so i want to make sure that i make sure i don't blow the budget on me buying bugs so i try to always shop out of season and i always try to make sure that i stay in the budget of what i plan to purchase when i go out to stores okay but here is the tulips i was telling you guys this is a better deal right here because you get 30 zaffodils okay in this casing right here so you'll pay seven dollars it'll be so much cheaper to buy that one than buying the individual packs Okay, so on this side, they had the edibles. Um, they had some basil, some lavender, some mint, and things like that. And these little beautiful containers. I thought this was cute because it comes in this little tin container. And I just, the tin container just was adorable. Okay, so and as well, I found this stunning little fountain right here. You guys can't believe the price. I did end up picking up this, you guys, which I went ahead and blew their budget. Because I promised my daughter that I was going to get her a fountain. And you guys, when I found this one on sale, it was going home with me next thing up you guys is this i had to show you guys this this is not even part of the shopping trip here is the peat moss the peat moss you guys is ridiculous now if you ever purchased peat moss before you know it was only like ten dollars and some change for a bell now you guys it is almost twenty four dollars per um bell that is ridiculous when i'm telling you i just kept I wanted you guys to see this okay it's a lot okay so here is some artichokes now i did see that arlo's have seeds now in store which is quite early and uh, my mom did tell me about this so um i'm really happy that they do have them in so you can go ahead and get your spring garden plants out and ready so you can go ahead and figure out where you want to plant things how things grow read up on the packaging read up on the actual variety that you're um, going to be planting up so this is great that they have it out pretty early because here in um north carolina um these seeds normally don't be out at this time so this is very exciting to see so you can go ahead and get those gardens planned out laid out um the beans i was looking for a lot of running beans because i do want to extend my trellising so i can go and plant a lot more in the garden um so i did look at the beans for quite a good little time but i did think about um baker's creek baker's creek has so many varieties of different type of running beans and uh, i definitely want to try some of their running beans and i just love how they lay out um where the plants come from and the history of the plants and and things like that so um i definitely be heading over back over to baker's creek and seeing what kind of varieties of running beans they have but if you if you do not want to shop online lowe's already have their seeds in stock in south carolina and in north carolina um i have so much lima beans it's ridiculous um just a ton of them 
So here's another runa bean. It almost reminds you of the asparagus bean or the uh, Chinese noodle bean. Or They have so many names for the same bean. Um, I didn't see any difference in taste or flavor and anything like that. So... So those are the contender green beans. We have here some beets. Let's see what else they have here. We have some broccoli. Now I do sell the Copenhagen on my website. Let's see about this. A pretty cabbage. So I'm just going to go ahead through the um, rack and kind of just browse through to see, you know, what kind of seeds they have, anything that I might not have. And I'm just going to go ahead through it and then I'm going to play you guys some music. So as you guys tour along and see what kind of varieties that you can find in stores, just in case if you didn't want to go to the store right away, you can go ahead and see right here some of the varieties that they have in stock. Now, this lemon cucumber is just absolutely cute. Now, <laughs> so I do have these um, already in, in my uh, seed uh, folder, well, my seed binder, and uh, I will be planting those this year. I have all of these natural pickling, the munchers. Okay, this is a burpless. I think I last year I planted a jade uh, cucumber. I plan on planting more cucumbers this year. Um, Cause I didn't get that many. I feel like I didn't get enough uh, cucumbers. So I will be looking into investing in the cattle panel. Um, the only problem that I'm having now is that the cattle panel, you guys, the price of the cattle panel has went up so dramatically from last year. So we have our cows. Great deal of varieties of lettuce. Now I am going to be planting up maybe five or six varieties of okra. I'm definitely going to be planting up the burgundy, the yellow, and the white onions. Now I do want to try to plant um, the walla walla onion. The walla walla onion in our area is not um, is not meant to grow in our area, but I'm going to try it anyways um, and see what happens. Some daikon radishes. This is the plum radish, sparkle radish, the watermelon radish. I love the watermelon radish. I'm like I said this year, I am so shocked that I did not plant up the watermelon radish or the daikon radish. I didn't see too many pepper varieties uh, that would have been different um, here at the local Lowe's. I was hoping that they would have had a little bit more varieties out this season. But no, not really.
and that's why I was looking for the Tabasco pepper uh, seeds I didn't see them in stores Believe it or not, I have a great deal of seeds at the house, and I'm still missing a ton of different things. Every year, I find some different varieties, and you guys gave me such a great suggestion on some new peppers to try, and I wrote them down. So, I'll be heading to Baker's Creek to pick up the couple of ones that I really think that you guys um, decided for me, I think will be best for my taste buds now every year I tell myself I'm not gonna plant that much but I will be I know I will I definitely know that I will um, with the price costs that is going up right now and how expensive some things are, uh, I definitely will be planting more. I'm trying right now to figure out how to utilize my space um, so that I could plant more without um, messing with um, adding in too many elements in the yard. Um, so I do have a lot more space that I can go with my fence and things like that. So I am going to be planting up a great deal of more plants uh, throughout the garden this year coming. And definitely herbs, you guys. I feel like I don't have enough herbs. Am I the only one who feel like I have enough herbs growing? Um... With all of the coronary cooking that I like to do. And I'm like, I do not have enough herbs. And there's so many herbs out there. And I don't have, to me, I don't think I have enough herbs. So I'm really, really, really considering how I'm going to go about doing, um, making a herbal area for um, the property. Where I just have a ton of herbs um, in the garden. And as well, I think I'm going to go ahead and get those started early because it can be very tricky. Sometimes you can get them to germinate and there's such, such small seeds and things like that, that, you know, I'll be like, oh, it didn't come up. And then some will come up, some won't come up. So um, I'm going to start those a little bit earlier. But I definitely know I need some more herbs out there in the garden. But for real, let me know in the comments. Am I the only one thinking that we don't have enough herbs in the garden? I feel like I do not have enough. So they have the organic um, seeds as well. Okay, you guys, so we went shopping and you guys, the prices are ridiculous. Some of the prices are so high that I didn't even bother to film the prices of what chicken wires was costing. Um, I might just have to figure out how to build a pallet uh, chicken coop um, and as well, see if I can even find uh, some chicken wire elsewhere. That's just a tad bit cheaper than what I've seen um, For what I have to get done um, The size of coop that I'm trying to build for that price of chicken wire is Ridiculous and I showed you guys the price of peat moss um, Last week I went and um, seen some peat moss. It was actually $18 so that big jump a hot $25 well, $24, that's expensive. That is very pricey. So believe it or not, it's probably even cheaper now to actually just go ahead and get soil that's already have all of that in there. The compost, the peat moss, 
the perlite, the vermiculite, things like that that's already in the soil. It might just be cheaper just to go just to buy it already done versus just picking up the peat moss and, excuse me, you guys, I don't want somebody in my camera. Um, but it'd be cheaper, you guys, just to kind of just probably buy the bag already done. Um, three quart, uh, three cubic feet um, bags of peat moss is $24. That's really high from last year. Last year was like $10 and some change. This year, you guys, it's just not doubled. It's doubled and then some. Um, so I really just wanted to show you guys that one. I thought it was absolutely absolutely we did check out some some screws and things like that um for the um potting um arrangements that i'm trying to do and uh the next thing up is i told you guys i was going to paint that um the box spring trellis and i do got the paint for that now i did pick up some seeds now these are the seeds that i picked up i picked up the uh um, red burgundy onion. I did pick up the hot pepper, the Pasilla pepper right here. I did have some of these at home, but I don't think I had many. And I don't remember if I actually saved any, but I picked up another pack of the Pasilla. And I'm um, picking up the water uh, fountain. Uh, my daughter, I always promised her I was going to get her one. So when I saw it on sale, it was originally $100 and I got it for a hot $28. I did pick it up. You guys, if you guys can kind of see the box right there. So I did pick up the water fountain as well. I was like, there's some nice size leaves here on this spinach. And uh, I picked this up, you guys, even though I have a ton of spinach seeds that I plant up, but I just plant up the smaller leaf variety. So I kind of wanted to try out the bigger leaf variety. And as well, I picked up the acorn squash. And you guys, the, believe it or not, I have the dark green one, but I really just wanted the white one just to have it. Um, but this is the winter squash cream of the crop. Okay, so I do have the uh, dark green skinned it acorn squash. So I did pick up this one as well. The last thing but not least, the last thing but not least is this one. Now, this one is a definitely, I definitely, 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 definitely going to plant this. Uh, I'm probably going to plant mine in some pots, like a maybe five gallon pot. Uh, um, this right here is the artichoke. This is the green globe artichoke. Um, I really love artichoke dip. Um, and as well, um, roasting artichokes is really good as well. So uh, I want to try this out. This is going to be my first time ever planting artichokes. Uh, according to this pack, it says there's a pretty variety of artichoke flower early summer. The flower buds a deep green and a light purple tint. Uh, expect about three to four heads throughout the summer. So I'm okay with that. So I'm going to probably try to plant up a great deal of this. I probably, I don't know how many in here. I don't know how many seeds are in this package, but I'm quite sure it don't feel like many. So I'll probably end up just planting up the whole pack. Um, so yes, the artichoke is what I'm going to try. But I am kind of disappointed that I didn't find anything for the chicken coop that I thought was pretty reasonable. And um, so... You guys, it is what it is, but they do have seeds now inside our Lowe's. Now, my mom already had told me that their Lowe's had seeds, so uh, and so we had a conversation about it. So, I already knew we had seeds at our Lowe's, and um, I'm kind of shocked that they're out already, actually. Um, here in North Carolina, it's a lot colder than South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina temperature is at least 10 degrees higher than ours because I always check my mom's temperature because I want to make sure she's uh, caught up if anything's coming her way because storms love to hit South Carolina where my mother is so I always kind of try to keep uh, up on date on how the weather is there and uh, the weather is always warmer there so I'm shocked that we actually had seeds in stores so yay but I did get to go ahead and pick up these artichokes I'm probably gonna start these pretty early um, it says right here it germinates 10 to 20 days okay 10 to 20 days with these artichokes it says space three to five feet i'm not gonna have to worry about that because i will be planting mine into containers it says day to harvest 85 to 120 so i will be definitely going ahead and plant these up indoors okay right now and uh so because 
if it's going to be ready by what they said early summer that these babies need to go ahead and get planted now so i will be going ahead and planting these indoors starting them indoors and uh let's see if we can get us some artichokes uh next year so i hope you guys enjoyed our video we went shopping today so uh please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i do upload a video and like i always tell you guys remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye-bye for now